Hey guys, John's Hands here, and boy oh boy do I have something special for you today. This is the limited edition version of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate in Europe. So um, this basically has the GameCube controller, an adapter, the game, and a very swanky box. And it also came with uh, this, the Steel Box. So I've not opened any of this yet, this is all um, completely sealed. So, you know what, let's start off with this. So there's nothing on the back, just a uh, barcode. So let's just quickly uh, get into this. There doesn't seem to be a great corner to tear into. One sec, let me use my teeth. There we are, using the resources we were born with. So it's a completely blank backside, and they have the Flaming Smash logo there, and a very neat little uh, inlay of Battlefield. A little place for your cartridge. Very, very cool. Sweet, so that is the steel box. Nothing too interesting there. So yeah, let's get into the real deal, which is, of course, the actual limited edition itself. Um, so I think we can just sort of slide this off. There we go. And there it is. So we've got the, uh, the banner art. And let's turn it around. So nothing on the side. But the back, everyone is here. El Cinde de B. I can't. I'm sorry. I will not attempt to read any languages I don't speak. Um, but there are a lot of languages here, jeez. Covering all bases. So this is just re really cool. I mean, I would I would be happy just to sort of frame uh, the box as it is. But uh, obviously we want to see what's inside first. So let's have a little look inside. Oh, there's a little bit of a uh, bit of tape here preventing us from opening. Let's get rid of that little devil. There we go. And let's get inside. Oh, that looks very nice. Very, very cool. So, obviously we have the game with no age rating, just the uh, the pure art. Pikachu is unharmed. He was not Mike wazowski today. So, yeah, there's a little bit of uh, text in there. Not sure if you guys can see. Let me try and get the camera at a better angle for you. There you go. You can see all the characters in the game, every single one. Apart from Joker, who was, of course, announced last night. But let's see what else we have in here. So this looks like it opens up. It does. This comes out. Uh, doesn't seem to be anything inside, just solid cardboard. But here we have the GameCube controller adapter, which, of course, if you played Smash for Wii U, you'll recognize this. Apart from there's no Wii U branding anymore. Just generic Nintendo. So we'll get into that in just a second. And we also have the Smash... GameCube controller. My apologies for <laughs> not getting this out very well. There we are. So that is the Smash GameCube controller right there. Um, we'll, we'll open both of these in just a moment, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much what you'd expect. It works with GameCube. I mean, obviously it does, but it's, it's nice to see it on uh, on packaging in 2018. Let's just see what this one says on the back too. Not much. Okay. Well, that seems to be everything that's in this box. Everything else is just, uh, cardboard. So let's put this to the side for now. I don't really want to. I, I want to gaze at this forever, but suppose we got to have some priorities. So, yeah, this is the GameCube controller adapter, which I'm sure is exactly what you think it is. So it comes with two USBs. I think one of them is vibration, and the other one is just a general input. And there it is. GameCube controller adapter. Very, very simple, very, very standard. And there's also instructions in there, but not much else. So let's go on to the GameCube controller itself. Um, so this, of course, has the Smash logo on here, which, um, you know, there was, there was a similar one on Wii U, but it was a slightly different design. Cool, and there is the GameCube controller. That's, oh, sorry, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of cardboard here. There we are. There we go. If you told John back in 2002 that he'd be opening a new GameCube controller in 2018, he would not believe you. But it feels so good. A brand new manufactured Nintendo GameCube controller with a very nice logo. Cool, actually, I have the, uh, the Wii U one right next to me, actually. Let's, let's compare them. So, this is the Wii U Smash controller. This is the Smash Ultimate controller. They look really similar. I actually, I kind of prefer the logo on this one. 
This one's just a bit too plain for me, but yeah, they both look really good. It's, anyway, it's, it's great to have just brand new GameCube controllers in this day and age. So yeah, that is the uh, Smash Ultimate GameCube controller and the Smash Ultimate GameCube adapter. But let's also take a look at the game itself. So here we are. Of course, no age rating, as we said earlier. Let's try and find a nice little loose bit here. There we go. No need for our friend the teeth today. I say. There we go. Is there an easy way to get into Seal? If there is, let me know. There you go. So there is Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, the physical version. Again, we've got another language there. And there's the game, thankfully. I mean, if the game wasn't in there, I'd be a little bit worried. There you also get uh, all the characters in the inlay here, too. And you know what? Just because we can, let's take the cartridge out of there and put it in the steel box. Which I hid over here. There we go. God, there's a mess of cardboard over here now. And we'll put you right in there. So there you go. That is the limited edition version of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate for Nintendo Switch. So here is the box again in all its glory. Very, very beautiful. Very, very pretty. And yeah, so what do you guys think of this limited edition? Is it what you wanted? And more importantly, what do you think of the box? Let us know in the comments below, and of course be sure to subscribe to Game Explain for a lot more on Super Smash Bros. Ultimate and other things gaming too. Until next time, bye!